A very good day to you students. I am teacher Nazita and I will be teaching you EVS today. Welcome back to my class. I hope you remember what I taught you last time and you are all staying safe inside. Let us begin. I taught you about the body parts last time. We will revise the body parts and name them using the help of this chart. First of all, we have the face. And what I told you the face has? The face has hair forehead, eye, the eye has eyebrow, the nose, the ear, the mouth which has lips, teeth and tongue, the chin, two cheeks and a neck. Now we have two ears and we have two eyes. Now let's look at the arms. How many arms do we have? Two. The arm has different parts. The arm, elbow, forearm, wrist, hands, the palm, the thumb, finger and the finger nail. How many fingers does our hand have? Four fingers and one thumb. So total both hands have ten fingers. Now let's look at the torso area. This has a shoulder, the chest, the stomach, the waist, the back and the hips. Then we have two legs which we use for walking. The legs have thighs, knee, ankle, the heel, the foot and the toe. Now all these body parts together help us to do many things and I want you to remember the name of each body part because today we will think about some very special body parts that we use to do some special things. So now that we have revised our names of the body parts we will come to our topic for today. But first, I will tell you a short story. Once upon a time, there was a little boy named Tom. One fine, beautiful morning, he woke up and his mother surprised him. She told him that that day he would get to go to the park and have fun. Now, who doesn't like to go to the park? I know I do. Do you too? Of course. So Tom was very, very excited. He jumped out of bed, washed his face and wore his clothes. Meanwhile, there was his mother who was dressing up and then she packed her nice, tasty, yummy lunch so that Tom could have some snacks in the park. Because of course, we get tired and we need energy, right? So off they went walking to the neighborhood park. While they were walking, Tom saw many things. He could see the shops that were opening up. He could see people out and about. He could see many owners walking their dogs and their pets down the street. Some people were jogging. So they walked on and they reached the park. Once they entered the park, he could see even more beautiful things like colorful flowers all blooming everywhere. Green grass. He ran to one flower and plucked it up. He smelt it. And then he said, wow, mom, look at this. It smells so good. Do you want one? His mother admonished him. No, Tom, that is very bad of you. You should not pluck any flowers. Let them be in nature. You can touch them, you can feel them, and you can admire them. So on they went, and Tom, feeling very sad, said, sorry, mama, I won't do it again. Then he saw one dog running towards him. It was his neighbor's dog. He could see her coming full speed. So he asked his mother for permission. He said, mother, can I touch the dog? Can I pet him? His mother said, yes, you can pet him. It is not a big problem. So he leaned down with joy and hugged the dog. He, gave it, he patted it nicely on its forehead and he felt that its fur was silky and smooth. After that, Tom and his mother walked down the park. 
they walked down the path and they found an area that was grassy but they could not sit there do you know why because suddenly they got a very very bad smell they held their noses and they said oh my this is so disgusting do you know who it was it was a skunk do you know who a skunk is a skunk is an animal that lets out some bad smelling gas when it's scared so the skunk had seen Tom and his mother coming and it got very scared and it let out its gas so now they had to move on because they did not want the skunk scared first of all and secondly it was smelling very very bad so on they moved and they walked on and on and they found another play area where it was sandy and they sat down over there on a grassy patch now mother removed her snack box the lunch box and opened it up in that lunch box there was a nice bottle of fruity I know you like fruity because I like it too who does not like it do you know what fruity tastes like yes it was mango fruity so it had a taste of mango then she removed out a packet which had some slices of apples in it do you like apple they are nice sweet and tangy and she got out some boiled carrots which was soft and mushy and sweet at the same time so Tom ate all his lunch he ate his tiffin he drank his fruity enjoyed it his mother also had some because you need your energy and then they all decided to pack up his, while his mother rested on the grassy patch Tom went on to play in the sandy area he felt the sand all between his toes and fingers and it, it rubbed against his skin turning it a little bit red after playing a lot and after meeting his friends in the park Tom decided he was tired and he was done for the day so both mama and Tom walked on home and they reached home now we know Tom had a very good day in the park but what did he see there who did he see there he saw a dog whose dog was it a neighbor's dog and what did he do to the dog he patted her or he and once he patted her what happened he felt that her fur was silky and soft then he also found some beautiful flowers what did Tom do with those beautiful flowers he went and he plucked one colorful flower why why do you think he plucked yes you're absolutely right so he could get a beautiful smell of that flower and he played where did he play he played in the sand and what kind of food did he eat what did he taste he tasted some apples some carrots some oranges and his favorite drink which was the fruity so we see Tom had a very good time in the park because he could enjoy all these things he could look everywhere and so once he came home he was feeling very happy now what helped Tom to feel or recognize these things what helped him to enjoy these things it was his sense organs now what is sense this is the word sense sense means to feel something to identify to feel when I touch you you will feel my hand my hand will either be cold or warm you will feel it against your skin and organs this is the word organs it means your body parts and that is why we had revised our body parts because there are some where I have told you there are some very important and special body parts that help us in our day-to-day -day life but now these are the parts which help us to feel or sense things around us now if I am holding this ruler and I touch it my skin which is the biggest organ in my body and in your body 
because if you pinch your skin if you pinch over here it will turn red or if someone pokes you it will pain so our skin is the biggest organ and when I touch this I can feel that this is made of plastic the ruler is made of plastic so let us look at this sense organs which help us to feel and identify to recognize things that are around us and to enjoy the world better let's look at the first eyes how many eyes do we have two one two two eyes our eyes help us see s e e c so what do our eyes do they help us see and what do we see we see the different colors around us we see the different people we see the things if we could not see a pencil would we be able to hold it no now let's look at the next body part on the next sense organ which is the ear how many ears do we have one and two two ears our ears help us to hear and what do we hear you can hear your teacher talking right now you can hear the music you can hear when your mama and papa tell you something okay so this helps us hear sometimes when you are crossing the road you can hear a car honking and that way you can move to the side because your ears help you to recognize that something is coming towards you and how close that thing is to you now let us look at the next sense organ which is our tongue now our tongue is only one it is in our mouth between our teeth our tongue helps us to taste t a s t e taste now what is taste when we eat something and we can feel it is sweet sour bitter that is called taste when we can eat something and recognize its flavor now whenever you go and eat a lime have you ever cut a lime and eaten eaten it yes so when you eat a lime you can taste that it is very sour and tangy and what about when you eat your chocolates chocolates are very sweet so you can taste the sweetness on your tongue we have something called the taste buds that help us to taste what do we have taste buds now let's look at the next sense organ which is a not a hand but a skin our skin here you can see the skin this is the skin this skin covers a whole body and protects us from the outside things it protects our bones our veins everything that is inside okay so this skin also helps us feel things now if i had a soft cushion and i was holding that cushion i would feel that it is very soft why because my skin would help me feel it when i touch someone's cheek and it goes in i know it is soft why because the skin on my fingers has helped me identify it so skin helps us to feel and touch without touching we won't know so it helps us to feel and touch how you spell touch t o u c h touch okay. now let's go to the last remaining fifth organ that is very important as well it is our nose our nose helps us smell now without smelling we would not know the what the fragrances of each item we have we love good smells right sometimes don't you love the smell of rain when it rains outside and you get the smell yes we love to smell the chocolate the chocolate smell we like to smell coffee 
it helps us feel better but what smell don't we like we don't like the garbage smell because it does not smell very good does it no so our nose helps us smell can you spell smell with me s m e l l spell again s m e l l now students here i have got a few pictures that i will show you and you have to tell me what sense organ will help us recognize it okay or identify it now i have two pretty flowers and i like to smell which organ will help us smell these flowers you are right the nose so let me stick it on the nose now i have another picture here ooh what is this it's a ice cream what flavor is this ice cream it's chocolate flavor my favorite is it your favorite i hope so now how will i taste this ice cream what organ will help me taste this ice cream you are right ah tongue the tongue will help me to taste this ice cream and know that it is it is sweet and chocolatey okay so let me stick it near the tongue oh what do we have here we have a what i don't hear any answers yes you are right we have a ice cube we have three ice cubes what happens when we touch the ice is it nice and warm no it is very very cold sometimes when you touch the ice cube and it is cold right from the freezer it will get stuck to your finger so what will help me to recognize that this is cold how will i know it is cold only if i touch it and so which organ will help us our skin will help us to recognize it is cold okay now look at this can you see this colorful rainbow we all know there are different colors in the rainbow the seven different colors and what helps us see these different colors Yes you are right our two eyes our eyes help us see that this is a rainbow with different colors and finally we have a little dog here and what is this dog doing you are right he is barking and how do you know he is barking you will know he is barking because you will be able to hear it and which organ will help you hear you are right your ears your ears will help you hear that the dog is barking i hope you have all understood and you will revise this at home until the next class students I hope you take care stay safe and stay inside thank you